गुड इवनिंग मिस्टर जाकिर नाइक माई नेम इज गुलाब चंद विश्वकर्मा एंड आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन बकरीद इज वेरी करीब वेरी नियर दिस टाइम एंड मुस्लिम फैस बिलीव दैट कि ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ बकरीद दे सेक्रीफाइज द गोट्स द फैलोज एंड काउज एंड ऑल दैट एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द इस्लाम इंसानियत एंड ह्यूमनिटी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड एवरी फैस शुड बी पिटी एंड काइंड ऑन एनिमल्स एंड human being and all that then if they believe in this then why they give the sacrifice of goats cows and buffaloes on the occasion of bakri whether they should do it whether it is in favor of humanity or uh, humanity or insaniyat brother that's a very good question that why are we sacrificing goat on bakri if it's not a bakri can we sacrifice no, goat no no i uh, any animals any no animals. can we sacrifice goat if there's no bakri they they sacrifices they kills and i'm asking you the question that means if no bakri if we sacrifice the animal it is allowed no and generally that, uh, why do yeah, you yeah. Uh, so okay, direct no. question why do you have non veg correct no no i'm not getting what you are saying your main question is why do you have non veg why do you have meat actually i want to say on the occasion of bakri and other occasion as well oh okay uh, i'll answer, answer both on the occasion of bakri allah says in the quran in surah hajj chapter number 22 that the blood and the meat does not go to allah it is your piety which goes to allah so unlike other religions in other religion when they sacrifice the sacrifice the goat and keep it in the altar in the name of deity and who eats god almighty eats in islam when we sacrifice what do we do one third compulsory minimum we have to give to the poor people one third we have to give to the relatives and friends one third you can keep for yourself so maximum you can keep is one third for yourself if you want to give full in charity also you can give so when we are sacrificing what are we doing we are benefiting the human kind we are giving them food to eat now giving food to eat is good or bad brother giving food to the poor people to eat is it good or bad good in humanity is it good or bad so therefore islam is a religion of humanity now you may ask the question what about killing animals it's good for humanity but what about animals in short a muslim can be a very good muslim even by being a pure vegetarian it's not compulsory in islam that you should have non veg but since almighty god has given us permission to have non veg why should we not have non veg allah says in the quran in surah maida chapter number 5 what's number 1 eat of the four footed animal which has been made lawful for you allah says in surah nail chapter number 16 verse number 5 that the cattle has been made for you so that you benefit from them and of the meat you can eat the same message repeated in surah mu'minun chapter number 23 verse number 21 that in the cattle is instructive sign from the belly you drink milk and of the meat you eat so since almighty god has given us permission why should we not have it Now coming to the logical aspect, today science tells us that in non-veg food, in flesh food, it is rich in vitamins, and it is only food which has got complete protein. Our human body, there are total 23 amino acids required by the human body, out of which eight are not synthesized in the body. It has to be given from the external diet. There is no vegetarian food which gives you all the eight amino acids. It is the flesh food. the non veg food which gives you all the amino acids furthermore if you analyze the set of teeth of the herbivorous animal cow goat sheep they have got flat set of teeth they only have vegetables they can't have flesh if we analyze the set of teeth of the carnivorous animal tiger leopard lion they have got pointed set of teeth they have got a carnivorous set of teeth they have canine set of teeth they only have flesh food they can't have vegetables we have gone from the mirror and we see a set of teeth we have got pointed teeth as well as flat teeth we have got a omnivore set of teeth if almighty god wanted us to have only vegetables why did he give us the pointed teeth for what <laughs> to have the flesh food furthermore the digestive system of the herbivorous animal cow goat sheep can only digest vegetables they can't digest flesh food the digestive system of the carnivorous animal tiger leopard lion can only digest flesh food they can't digest vegetables 
but the digestive system of the human being has got small intestine and long intestine. We can digest vegetable as well as fresh food. If Almighty God wanted us to have only vegetables, why did He give our digestive system we can digest both? Furthermore, there is a misconception that Hindus should not have non-veg. It's misconception. If you read the Hindu scriptures, it's mentioned in Manusmiti, chapter number 5, verse number 30, that Almighty God created some animals to eat and some to be eaten. If you eat the animals that have been created to be eaten, you're not doing a sin. It's mentioned in Manusmiti, chapter number 5, verse number 31, that Almighty God has created some animal for sacrifice. So if you kill the sacrificial animal, you're not doing a sin. It is mentioned in Manusmiti, chapter number 5, verse number 40, that killing in sacrifice is not a sin. There are various references in the Hindu scriptures and the Vedas that the sages and sons, they had non-veg, they even had beef. If you read Mahabharat Anushasan Parv, chapter number 88, you know the story of the Pandavas. You know Pandavas? Five brothers. The eldest brother Yudhishthir, he asks Bhishma that what should we give in Yagna, in Puja, so that our ancestors will be satisfied. So Bhishma replies, that if you give herbs and shrubs and vegetables, our ancestors will be satisfied for one month. If you give fish, for two months. If you give meat, for three months. If you give hair, rabbit, for four months. If you give goat, for five months. If you give bacon, for six months. If you give birds, for seven months. If you give deer, eight months. And the menu continues. If you give buffalo, for 11 months. If you give cow, our ancestors will be satisfied for one full year. And if you want your ancestors to be satisfied inexhaustibly, give red meat of goat or a rhinoceros. Who says that? Bhishma to Yudhishthir. The full menu is there. Vegetables, fish, rabbit, goat, everything is there. Buffalo, cow. So even in Hindu scriptures, eating non-veg is permitted. It is many of the Hindus, because they were being influenced by other philosophies of Ahimsa, they started practicing it. And this people who follow Ahimsa, that's non-violence, not killing any living creature, if any human being can lead a life without killing living creatures, I'm for it. What they say, killing animal is a big sin, because their life, killing life is prohibited. Today, science has advanced, and we have come to know that even the plants have got life. So by eating vegetables, you're killing life also. But the logic has changed. No, no, we understand that the plants have got life, but the plants can't feel pain. Therefore, killing a plant is a lesser sin as compared to killing an animal. For sake of argument, I agree. Today, science tells us that the human ear can hear frequencies between 20 cycles per second to 20,000 cycles per second. Anything below and above, we can't hear. Today, science tells us that even the plant cries, but the human ear cannot hear. So there was a farmer in USA who had equipment which converted the cry of the plant to the human ear, and used to know that that required water. Someone would say, okay, okay, fine, I agree that the plant can feel pain, but you know, it has got two or three senses less. Therefore, killing a plant is a lesser sin as compared to killing animals which have got five senses. For sake of argument, I agree that plants have got two senses less as compared to the animal. I am asking you a question. That suppose your brother, God forbid, if he is born deaf and dumb, and when he grows up, someone comes and kills him. So will you go and tell the judge, me Lord, give the murderer less punishment because my brother, he was deaf and dumb. Will you say that? You will tell the judge, give him a bigger punishment. My brother was masoom. He could not hear, he could not speak. So in Islam, it does not work like that. Two senses more, two senses less. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 168, eat of the good things we have provided for you. What is good, what is tajab, you can have. And furthermore, I personally have got no problem. If the non-Muslim don't want to have non-veg, I have got no problem, personally. Only when they tell me it's a sin, or you tell me it's against humanity, I give the reply. Personally, 
if the non-Muslims continue having vegetarian, good for me. If all the non-Muslims start having non-veg, then the price of mutton and beef will go high. Personally, I've got no problem.